Word on the street is that the Lakers are looking to take on a new player on their roster, and it's none other than the Wizards' Bradley Beal. Why the sudden interest, you ask? Well, you can find out by watching today's video that's all about the Lakers' new interest in trading for Bradley Beal. But first, a reminder about our brand new giveaway. We're giving away a PS5 with a copy of NBA 2022 and Madden 22. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Why are the Lakers looking for a trade? Well, it's no secret that the Lakers have had a pitiful season with a 49 loss. LeBron James performed well, but we can't say the same for the others. For starters, Anthony Davis was hurt, and Russell Westbrook didn't meet expectations. Naturally, all of the team's efforts are focused on turning that around despite having a big three playing for them. New head coach Darvin Ham could help with that. Frank Vogel is long gone now, as everyone knows. There's also the thing with Russell Westbrook that needs to be addressed. It's no secret that the Lakers want him gone. He's at the end of his contract. Westbrook has a player option worth $47.06 million. He's fully expecting to pick that up. Other than that, when it comes to trade assets, he's a net negative. Still, the Lakers want to get rid of him, and they don't want to just offload his salary, but improve the overall roster. It kind of seems necessary at this point if they wish to re-enter the title picture after that disappointing season. Fortunately, they have just the right man in their mind. Next, Lakers go after Bradley Beal. It seems like the Lakers are going after Bradley Beal from the Washington Wizards out of everyone out there. On the latest episode of The Void, Kevin O'Connor sat down with Damon Rangula, the Silver Screen and Roll alum. Kevin said that the one name he's heard recently is Bradley Beal. However, the twist is that he doesn't know if the interest is mutual. According to him, Beal is much more likely to go with Boston, given his relationship with Jason Tatum. Still, the Lakers are trying out some moves to win him over. They seem to be going with the strategy the worst they can say is no. Many think that Bradley would laugh this one off. He can opt out of his deal with the Wizards during the offseason by signing the Supermax extension. The Wizards would let him go quite easily, considering that the team didn't make any big waves with him as their best player. So at the end of the day, the Wizards might end up trading off Bradley. But as we said, he's much more likely to go with Boston. He can certainly get better deals than this one. The Miami Heat seems like a likely contender. Now, the only way for the deal to work, the Lakers plan to use Russ's expired contract and the 27 and 29 first to their advantage, but at the end of the day, it's just not that good of a deal. Of course, any of the Lakers would love to turn over Westbrook and the two first, but it's not a realistic trade that the Wizards would want. Westbrook doesn't really make for a good deal, and the first round picks aren't really helping the Lakers' case. However, one way the Lakers could get their hands on Bradley is if they give up their star players. That would have to be either LeBron James or Anthony Davis. It seems like the only way that the Wizards would entertain the deal. There are all already rumors about LeBron not signing the extension with the Lakers. Naturally, he's expected to leave the team after next season. If the team is already planning to lose LeBron, it will make sense for them to switch him out with another star player, aka Beal. Now, a look at Bradley Beal's career. Before Bradley was with the Wizards, he was playing for the Florida Gators as a college basketball player. He joined the Wizards in 2012 as the third overall pick in the NBA draft that year. Later, in 2013, he was selected to the NBA All-Rookie First team. The three-time NBA All-Star has been killing it as the shooting guard ever since he stepped onto the court. So far, he's played in 645 season games with 14,231 points, 2,701 assists, and 2,641 rebounds. He's also managed 727 steals and 251 blocks. All in all, we get the appeal. His contract is going to expire at the end of next season. After that, he'll be an unrestricted free agent. As far as his earnings are concerned, Bradley's managed to make an impressive $33 million this season. It's expected that he'll earn more in the coming season, up to $36 million. Now that we've talked about the Lakers' possible new pick, let's dig into other news. Wizards in search for a veteran guard. The Lakers aren't the only ones searching to bag a new player. The Wizards are in town looking for a new point guard, preferably someone who's proven himself on the court. The news comes straight from Mark Stein. He wrote that the Wizards are open to trading the number 10 overall pick in his new newsletter. They want someone who can pair up with Beal on the backcourt. Of course, if that's true, then the chances of the Wizards trading him with the Lakers would run low. Next, Deshaun Watson is looking at a suspension. Apparently, the NFL is planning to hand Deshaun Watson a suspension, one that would last no less than one year, according to Andrew Beaton of the Wall Street Journal. The league's decision comes after multiple women accused the Cleveland Browns quarterback of sexual assault during the massage sessions that happened between 2020 and 2021. So far, there have been 
been 24 civil lawsuits, 20 of which have been settled. And until June 13th, two were in the middle of being processed. Watson has so far denied the allegations. What's more, two grand juries refused to indict him on criminal charges back in March. According to New York Times reporter Jenny Vrentis, Watson met with around 66 women over a period of 17 months, from 2019 to 2021, for massage appointments. Watson's old team, the Houston Texans, was, in fact, providing him with hotel memberships and NDAs for a few of the appointments. Beaton further reports that we'll hear a verdict about Watson's future in the league on July 4th, probably. An arbitration meeting is expected soon. Former U.S. District Court Judge Sue Robinson will be acting as a neutral arbitrator for the initial ruling. And Colin Kaepernick's agent has some words to say. It seems like Colin Kaepernick's agent, Jeff Nolley, had to step out of the sidelines to do some damage control. Why is that? Well, Warren Sapp made some comments saying that the quarterback had an ugly workout with the Raiders on May 25th. Sapp claimed that he heard that the quarterback's workout last month was embarrassingly bad during an interview with Vlad TV last week. He said that he heard it was a disaster, one of the worst workouts ever. He was actually surprised that one tape of the session didn't end up being leaked. As for where Sapp heard the news, we don't know. It wasn't from Collins' agent, that's for sure. After Sapp said what he said, Jeff stepped up and disputed everything he said about Collins. Jeff said that the quarterback was, in fact, good during the workout. He had managed to impress both the Raiders' general manager Dave Ziegler and head coach Josh McDaniel. Maybe Warren didn't talk to either of them, but Jeff had several conversations with the GM where he said that Cap was in great shape and threw the ball really well. In fact, the GM said that he'd be happy to tell that to any team that calls. Other than that, there were multiple reports of the Raiders being impressed with Kaepernick. Chiefs' Trey Smith has no complaints with Tyreek Hill. Trey Smith and Tyreek Hill were teammates for only one season, and that was enough time for Trey to be impressed by Hill's football skills, which is why Smith was shocked that the Chiefs decided to move on from Hill during the offseason. But in the end, the player understood why both parties decided to do what they did. Hills has been leading the NFL in 20-yard, 30-yard, 40-yard, 50-yard, and 60-yard touchdowns ever since he stepped into the game in 2016. He was easily the best deep ball receiver of this season. Hills is also one of the four players in the league's history with 6,500 receiving yards, 55 receiving touchdowns, and 450 receptions after his first six seasons. And yet, the Chiefs parted ways. While appearing on the J. Mart and Ramon radio show, Smith said that he gets it. The coaches had to do what was best for the team and the organization. And as far as Hills is concerned, he's getting paid. He wishes him well with Miami. With Hill gone, the Chiefs will have a different approach on offense. They gained Marquez Valdez-Scantling and Juju Smith-Schuster in free agency. This way, they've managed to add speed, since they already have Smith-Schuster. And with Valdez-Scantling, they surely are something. All right, what are your thoughts on all of this? Do you think we'll see Bradley with the Lakers? And is the team really going to give up one of its star players to sweeten the deal? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Bye for now.